actually make me never want to buy one at a show. Do you think a horn works? Don't do that. Do not. I will leave. Imagine all the places we'll go. Fired up and ready to roll. This might not be legal to tell you, but... Is this the one we're buying? invited by the Austin RV Expo to come and get kind of a behind the scenes look at how these things are put together. We've been to shows before. We've never had this kind of experience where you just walk in and there's nobody else here except for the people that are setting everything up. So kind of an interesting experience, yeah. Hey, I'm gonna snag those. Look at the show cleaning oh, bottles. No. Okay, all look right, let's put, let's. I want them. That was amazing. <laughs> Look how close they are. Look at all these dudes. Right down this line. You're missing this man putting a shine on this RV. I think you'd be impressed. Oh, my man. Where is he? <laughs> That's the detail, Randy. Really. Appreciate it. They can really appreciate how clean and shiny everything is, especially them tires. Look at them tires. <laughs> Look at the shine on them tires. <laughs> Randy. What? Look at the shine on those tires. I got work to do. <laughs> Their shine's not as impressive. Hey, you can't just go around and judge everybody's tires at this show. I am. <laughs> Put it back. <laughs> it's interesting kind of getting these almost exclusive looks, but we're not walking in any of them, but we get to we get to peek into them when nobody's here. Oh! <laughs> hey! <laughs> nice! <laughs> Reminds me of hmm. this Austin Powers scene when he's like, hey, 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 and he's in that thing. I was waiting for it. Yeah. <laughs> that was outstanding. It's officially day one of the convention. Yesterday we just got to see how they moved everything in and watch everybody get set up. And that was really impressive. There were probably over 500 RVs there, I think. One dealer alone we know has over 120 RVs that they moved in in a two-day period. Just the amount of logistics that goes into that is just mind-blowing to me. So props to them for getting it done. Plus, they're spotless. They're just beautiful. So I spent the morning making the old truck look good and making them tires shine as good as the shine was on some of those RVs. So the truck's ready, I'm ready, Rainy's not ready, but soon, <laughs> soon we will go. I just love hearing her cackle randomly in the background. But first, before we go, and while we're waiting for Rainy, because we're waiting forever, I need a poll. And I genuinely have a question here. We're having an argument about decorations. And I think this should stay, I think, Pride in your own work is important in your life, and I think you should be proud of what you've accomplished and what you've achieved, and proud so much that you put it at the front door. Rainy disagrees. So, this was made, when was this made? I don't know, I was like 12. Okay, she was 11 or 12, and it's, it's a beautiful cat. <laughs> and I think, personally, I think it needs to be right there at the front door. Everybody gets to say hello, it says hello, I don't know, it's, it's lips are weird, it's like... But it's there, it's beautiful, I think it should stay. Tell us in the comments, do you think it should stay? Or should it go? You better say it should stay. She's beauty and she's grace She's Miss United 
understand how I feel because I took an hour and a half to get ready. At least. <laughs> so everybody's grabbing these rulers like they know what to do with them, and I don't know what to do with them. You know what but I, I bet feel it, like I need you know what one. I bet it is? It's probably to measure your slide out, right? Probably. When you but I don't know. I feel like we need one to look official. Yeah. Would you get out of there? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Look at the, the toilet shower box. <laughs> Is there a shower? Look at that. Yeah. No way. That's the toilet shower box, I'm telling you. <laughs> TM. <laughs> TM. Patent <and> pending. <laughs> the big question. This is going to be up to you. Okay. So me sitting here with only a curtain, do you think it's still doable? Are we still in? Come on. This is pretty cute. Could you full time in this? No. You could full time in the half tent yes. with the curtain as mm -hmm. the toilet, but you couldn't full time in this? Yes, because that's rugged and this is not rugged. It's a man thing, Rainy, you wouldn't understand. This thing's cool. Now hear me out, hear me out. This is what I'm talking about when it comes to Alaska. It's got a whole bathroom. Whoa. The closet space is even impressive in here. Yeah. Seriously though, come here. Whoa, there's a whole closet. That's what I'm saying! Like that is cool. Wow. There's more closet space. There's more closet space. Closet space, look. Closet space. <gasps> More space. So have I finally convinced you? Yes, use the stick to, to yes. show who you're talking to. Have I convinced you on the camper to Alaska? This one? Idea? Absolutely. Because my kitties would be comfortable in here. They'd be quite comfy. And my doggies would be comfortable in they here. They can stay. And I would be comfortable in here. We're getting it. The thumbnail, we're selling it all. <laughs> <laughs> we're selling it all. This is pretty amazing. The trouble with travel trailers. Where are we at? <laughs> right there? Yeah, a whole seven inches of space above my head. Unacceptable. Oh. You know, I like these because it's like, catch me in the middle, catch me in the middle. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? I mean, look. Wow. That's a lot of storage. Okay, get out of there, you clown. I you know, if we hadn't gotten the grand design, we probably would have gotten to Montana. Yeah? Mm hmm. Is that we would have been stoners rather than grand designers. Key stoners. Get it? Get it? Get it? Get it? <laughs> it seems flimsy, but it's very sturdy. Ooh, fancy. Then if you're done, if you don't do that, okay? We'll get there. All right, hold on here. Let's use some <laughs> logic. How long is this gonna take? I don't know. It's gonna take me that way. Wait, wait, we're making progress. Aha! Wow. Solved it. Let me buy one. Hooray! Congratulations. That that right there's also there cowbell. It is. This whole situation makes me never want to buy one at a show because yeah. it's just like. Ah, can we can we skip the cowbell? Yeah, I'd be like, if I buy this, can you stay silent? Yeah. <laughs> that part of the discount is you have to scream and do cowbell. Can I see the cowbell again? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there is a door. There is a door, but this does seem like potential for your child to escape. Yeah. In the night. <laughs> Shh, come on. I'll grab you. You really want me to come, come out of this door? Come on. Okay. Come on. All right. All right. Okay. Here, just come here. Okay. okay. Don't shake it. They're gonna know. This is pretty. Yeah. Just okay. look, there's a window here. You'll get it one day. Hmm. I like that. They remember put the blind down. Is this the one? I is like this the one, one we're buying? <laughs> Does it move? What does it do? I don't. I'm pretty sure it's just a super strong. <gasps> it is. It's just a super strong magnet. Okay. All right. 
see, and then, okay, I get it now, because then you snap this wall. Wait, 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 like are we confident that yeah. I can leave? Well, yeah, because it's still a door. See, it's just a movable door. Wait, how do you have the washer dryer with the door like this? Like, there, there's no room. What is going on? I don't know. Also, why is this a urinal sink here? <laughs> it's my bathroom. <laughs> okay, I'm not cleaning your sink. <laughs> do you think the horn works? Don't do that. Do not. I will leave. I will leave the expo. I will go get the truck out of valet and I will leave your ass here. <laughs> do not. Do not. I'm leaving. <laughs> Hello, my friend. What a beautiful sight when I come walking back into the RV. Well, that was our first expo. And it was really neat as compared to just going to a dealership is you got to see pretty much everything that the RV world has to offer when it comes to class A's, class C's, travel trailers, fifth wheels, those little cool little camping pods that I'm trying to convince Rainy to live in full time. You, you get to see it all. You also get to meet with a lot of different dealers. And the whole point of an expo from a dealer perspective is to sell RVs. So if you're in the market for an RV, you get to talk with them, see what their best prices are on these units that they have for sale. You can also compare, maybe, I don't know, pit them up against each other in a, in a bidding war. I, I, does that work? I, I don't know. We're not personally in a market for an RV, so I did not set up any kind of gladiatorial games, although I wish I could have. I did speak with one of the salesmen and he gave me a little insider insider trading tip so I don't I don't know this might not be legal to tell you but typically you can get a good deal at about 15 18% off of MSRP when you're buying at an expo you're buying the ones that they have in stock you're not special ordering or something like that but if you want to buy something right away you might be able to get a better deal than you could just get at a dealership. The Austin RV Expo also had informational classes and vendors there. They had classes running all day about cooking, electrical systems, just basic functions of your RV. And then there were vendors there that you can have actual hands-on experience with different products that you may wanna buy. But the greatest thing about going to an expo is that it's just flat out fun. We love daydreaming and goofing around and causing a scene as we tour all of these different RVs. And I swear, if Rainy had honked that horn, I would have left her. That would have crossed the line to hear the echoes in the building of just a Ford honk. I would have left her. I would have just gotten in the truck. I, I told you, you heard on the video, I'd have gotten the truck and I'd have left her there. I probably would have. And the channel name would be Keith and someone else. And before we go, I would like to start a new tradition with my friend here. I don't have a name for him yet. Maybe you can give him a name. Maybe drop a name in the comments when you tell me that I'm right for him sitting at the front door greeting everyone. But he's going to be my like and subscribe cat. So, if you like the video, like it, give it a good thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel. And thank you to the cat for scratching his neck right in the moment. Are you done, sir? Okay, he's done. This cat still wants you to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next one.